All right, so here we've got a optimization problem. It says a closed box with a square base is to have a volume of 250 cubic meters. The material for the top and bottom cost $2 per square meter, and the material for the sides cost $1 per square meter. And they want to know, can the box be constructed for less than $300? All right, so let's, let's draw a picture of this thing. So if we draw a picture of the box, All right, so there's our box. So let's label it. We've got X, X, and H. Now, th this is important here because how do I know this side here is labeled X and this one's also labeled X? Well, it's because it says a closed box with a square base. So that means the base is square, so that means all the sides are the same. And then we have a height to the box. All right, so let's, let's come up with the function we want to maximize or minimize, and let's write down the information they give us. All right, so a closed box with a square base is to have a volume of 250 cubic meters. All right, so they're giving me the volume. So the volume, which is 250, well, what's the volume of this box? Well, it's this side times this side times the height. So x times x is x squared and then times the height. So there's the volume of the box. Now, what do they want us to maximize or minimize? So but before we write that down, let's... Let's think about what they're wanting us to do. Do they want us to maximize this or minimize it? Well, it says, can the box be constructed for less than $300? So we're looking to minimize this, right? We want the lowest cost possible. All right, so we're going to minimize the cost of the box. So now we have to come up with a function for the cost. So I get C of X is equal to all right so let's see the cost for the top and bottom is two dollars per square meter so i need the area of the bottom and i need the area of the top okay so the area of the bottom is x squared the area of the top is x <coughs> is x squared so there's two of them right so that's 2x squared Okay, I've got the area of the bottom plus the area of the top. So the area of the bottom is x squared plus the area of the top is x squared. And so that's where I get my 2x squared from. All right, so remember, this is square meters, right? Because it's the area. And how much does it cost? Well, it's $2 per square meter. So I have to multiply that by 2. All right, now it tells us the material for the sides costs $1 per square meter. All right, so let's get the total area of the sides. So that's plus. So the area of this side is what? X times H. And then the area of this front side here, well, that's X, that's H. So that's another one, right? And then this side right here, well, that's x there, and this height h, so that's plus another xh. And then I've got this back side here. Well, this length here is x, this height is h, so that's plus xh. So the total area of the sides is 4xh. All right. And then how much does it cost per square meter? One dollar. So that's one times that. All right. And so my cost function 
is 4x squared plus 4xh. All right. Now, we've got to take the derivative of this thing, don't we? Well, what, what, what's the problem that we have? Well, I need everything in terms of one variable. So how about we get everything in terms of x, so I need to figure out what h is. Well, that's when I come over, to, come over here and I see that h is 250 over x squared. And so my cost function is 4x squared plus 4x times h, which is 250 over x squared. And so my cost function is 4x squared plus 1,000 over x. So there's my cost function. So I want to minimize this thing. All right, so let's take the derivative. So c prime of x, that's going to be 8x. And then the derivative of this, so the derivative of 1,000 over x, well, we can write that as 1,000x to the negative 1. And so if I take the derivative, the negative 1 comes down. Subtract 1 from the exponent, and so that's negative 1,000 over x squared. So that's minus 1,000 over x squared. So there's the derivative of our cost function. Okay. All right, so now what do we need to do? We've taken the derivative. Now we need to set it equal to 0. So I've got... 8x minus 1,000 over x squared equals, whoop, equals 0. So that's going to be 8x equals 1,000 over x squared. And then I can multiply the x squared to that. So that's going to give me 8x cubed equals 1,000. So x cubed equals 1,000 over 8. And so now I need to take the cube root of that. So that's going to give me x equals, let's see, 1,000 divided by 8. And then the cube root of that. So is 5. All right, so that's, that's x. That's the length of this side here. Okay. Now, actually, I need, to, I need to make sure this is a minimum, right? So if I take the 5 and plot it here, so then I can choose x equal 4, x equal 6. And if I plug the 4 into here, well, what's going to happen? I got to plug the 4 into there. So that's going to be, was it 32? Whoop, 32 minus and then 1000 over 16. And that gives me a negative. So that is decreasing there. And then if I plug the 6 in, I'll get a positive. And so that's increasing. So that tells me this is a minimum here. Okay, so I know this is going to be the minimum cost. Well, what they're asking me, can the box be constructed for less than $300? Well, I need to know how much is it going to cost me, right? So to do that, I need to take this 5 here and plug it in to my cost function. Okay. Now, now notice they, they didn't ask me to find the dimensions of the box. Okay. If they did ask me to find the dimensions of the box, how could I do that? Well, I've got X is 5. I would need to know what H is, right? So I could do the 250 over 5 squared equals H. And so that would be 250 divided by 25. That would be h is equal to 10. 
So the dimensions of the box to minimize the cost would be five by 10 meters. But they're wanting to know, can I construct it for less than $300? So I, I could do it. I could do it two ways. I could take the 10 and the five and plug it into this function, or I could just plug the five into this function. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and plug it into here because it looks like it'll be easier. I don't have the fraction there. So the cost would be what? Four times five squared plus four times five times 10. So what is that going to give me? <clears throat> that's going to give me four times 25. That's a hundred plus, uh, that's going to be 20 times 10, which that's going to be $300. So it wants to know, can I construct it for less than $300? And I guess the answer there would be what? No. <clears throat> it'd be right at $300. So anyway, that's the problem. Uh, I hope it helped. I hope you understood it. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.